Hi everyone, we're back in the studio for this week's farming forecast. Thank you for bearing with us during last week's technical issues. But I thought we could start this week's video with a view of the weather over the last week. So taking a look at the radar estimated rainfall accumulations over the last week. And it was quite an interesting week. We started off with high pressure broadly centered over the UK. So quite a settled start to the week. Plenty of sunshine, very warm temperatures as well and dry conditions for many places. However, there were a few heavy showers and thunderstorms, particularly across some sort of central areas during the first part of that week. But most places did stay dry during the beginning of the week. However, as we went towards the weekend, we did have an area of low pressure move up from the southwest. So very late on Friday night, early Saturday morning, we had an area of thunderstorms spreading into southern England and that brought some quite frequent lightning to places some very heavy rain you can see the radar estimation is quite high in these areas here and that did die out through Saturday morning but we did see thunderstorms and showers sort of reinvigorate into Saturday evening sort of south of the M4 kind of area so further rain for these areas quite a wet start to the weekend and then on Sunday we had this other area of showers and thunderstorms developing along a convergence line in the southeast here so another unsettled day for many places there very heavy rainfall in some places reports of up to 181 millimeters in some parts of Suffolk so very heavy rainfall and then on Monday we saw further showers particularly across sort of eastern parts of Scotland but again across sort of central areas parts of Wales and indeed Ireland as well so quite unsettled yesterday as well but what are we expecting as we go through the rest of the week then let's start with the jet stream and we can actually see it's pushing sort of into southern Britain as we go through the next few days so quite far south for this time of year in fact and that's acting to drive areas of low pressure in from the west so bringing us some more unsettled conditions unfortunately another thing it's worth noting is we are on the northern side of that jet stream the cooler side so we are expecting a bit of a fresher feel to conditions as we go through the next few days now starting with tonight we have an area of low pressure just to the east of Scotland so this is continuing that unsettled feel that we've been having so there'll be quite a few showers in many places and for most places those will become more isolated as we go through the overnight period still continuing in a few areas particularly across parts of Scotland where they could be quite persistent in places and another area moving into western parts of Ireland but for many parts of England and Wales drying out and then into Wednesday further showers and spells of rain for many places continuing that unsettled feel and we've got this quite uh, fresh westerly flow developing as well so although there will be quite a lot of showers maybe some longer spells of rain that westerly flow will move them through quite quickly so that is good news and then as we go into Thursday that area of low pressure is still out to eastern Scotland as we go through the day that will gradually move away to the northeast but we're expecting further showers or spells of rain for many northwestern parts there southeastern parts might stay slightly drier and we're still in that fresh westerly flow there now another thing to know as we go into Friday is this little area of low pressure uh, to the southwest of England and that's expected to sort of track eastwards as we go through the day on Friday. So first thing on Friday we could see some longer spells of rain close to the south coast so worth mentioning, worth keeping an eye on that but otherwise it does look like another unsettled day with further showers and spells of rain. And then as we go into Saturday continuing that unsettled feel, the flow turning around more to the northwest, I think there'll still be some showers or spells of rain but perhaps less frequent than previous previous days on Saturday so maybe some more of that drier and brighter weather around. Now if you're looking for some spraying over the next few days you can see those ideal spraying conditions highlighted in green there and I think it will be quite a challenge over the coming days for those ideal spraying conditions what with the strong westerly winds and all those showers and spells of rain around so spraying conditions ideal spraying conditions will be few and far between but I can tell you what the best tool for finding out where those showers are going to be is our WQ radar this is an excellent thing if you're out to do some spraying you can see near real-time rainfall radar which is perfect if if you're out trying to get some spraying done you can also see the wind observations and other weather observations as well you can get lightning alerts and you can also see archive data so a really useful tool and we're actually offering it at almost half price for 25 pounds for your first year's subscription using the discount code harvest just head to wqradar.co.uk so looking a little further ahead then towards the end of the weekend very first part of next week we are expecting once that area of low pressure has cleared 
for this high to ridge in from the southwest, so bringing something slightly more settled, a brief interlude. Some drier and brighter conditions expected through parts of Sunday and Monday. However, as we go into the sort of early part of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of time, we will get this area of low pressure pushing spells of rain sort of eastwards across the UK, so returning us to that more unsettled feel to our weather into sort of Tuesday time onwards. Now, taking a look at a chance of a dry day chart, you can see a lot of those green colours on the chart there, so indicating a low or a very low chance of a dry day, at least for the next few days or so. You can see in sort of uh, eastern parts here, you can see some brown colours for Thursday, indicating, like we said, maybe a slightly dry day on Thursday, but for many places, still a lot of green colours. Until we get to Sunday, Monday kind of time, a few of those brown, sort of high or very high chance of a dry day colours becoming a little bit more widespread under that ridge of high pressure. Before then, once again, the next area of low pressure arrives and returns us into those green colours, the low or a very low chance of a dry day. So looking to become quite unsettled once again. That's not to say there won't be occasional ridges of high pressure within this kind of spell of weather, but for the most part, it does look rather unsettled. Going a little further ahead as we go into sort of mid-August kind of time, you can see maybe a brief respite for southern areas as we return to these, these white colours, these lighter brown colours, so a medium to high chance of a dry day. So maybe turning slightly more settled for southern parts, but those green colours still remaining across all those northern areas, so still remaining unsettled for many places here. Taking a look at our monthly forecast, this really does back that up. The monthly for week two showing lower than average pressure across much of northern Europe, so indicating quite an unsettled feel to the weather over the next week or so. And that's really shown in our precipitation anomaly as well. Green colours over much of Britain, particularly England and Wales, whereas Ireland and Scotland slightly closer to average, maybe even slightly drier than average as those areas of high pressure ridge up from the southwest there. So maybe bring a slightly drier feel, but there will still be plenty of spells of rain around, I'm sure. Now, in terms of temperature, this is the air mass temperature ensemble for Oxford. And you can see this dotted line here showing the average for the time of year. And the red line here showing the average of all the ensemble members. So the red line well below the dotted line over the next couple of weeks or so. As we go sort of further ahead though, it does look to trend sort of slightly closer to that dotted line, the space between those getting slightly smaller as we go further ahead. So although it does look to be below average, maybe returning slightly closer to average by the end of that forecast period. And you can see that for week two, the temperature anomaly, a lot of blue colours over northern and western Europe indicating those below average temperatures. So a couple of degrees below average, we're looking at highs in the sort of high teens or the low 20s, so feeling a lot cooler than it has lately. And then into week three, not looking at really much in the way of change. We've still got below average pressure across much of northern Europe, so maintaining that unsettled feel to weather. And we can see that again in the precipitation anomaly. Lots of these green colours indicating wetter than average conditions for many places as we go into week three. And in terms of temperatures, not much change here either. Still looking close to or below average for many places, particularly lingering in the south as well. So still feeling cooler for many places. Now, as we go into week four, maybe the slight signs of some change. We can see those pink colours returning to the chart. So maybe indicating something slightly higher than average pressure. So uh, maybe a return to something slightly more settled. And indeed, the precipitation anomaly supports that as well. A few of these brown colours creeping back onto the chart here, indicating drier than average conditions. So it does look like there might be some light at the end of the tunnel and indeed in terms of temperatures as well We're back to those sort of white colors indicating closer to normal temperatures. So yes a bit of light at the end of the tunnel So to summarize I think over the next few days It's often going to be quite unsettled quite breezy and that will bring a fresher feel to the weather There'll be frequent showers and spells of rain and some of these could be heavy and thundery at times and then towards the end of the weekend, so Sunday, Monday kind of time, a brief ridge of high pressure will bring something a little drier and brighter, but not for long. The next area of low pressure moving in from around Tuesday kind of time, bringing a return to that more unsettled weather. And that really seems to be the story for at least the next couple of weeks, generally feeling quite unsettled, frequent showers, spells of rain, a few ridges of high pressure here and there, bringing some more sort of settled, drier periods in there, but generally unsettled with below average temperatures until around mid-August, as we just said, when things do, there is a hint that things might just start to settle down. So thanks for watching this week's farming forecast. As always, we'd love to hear from you. Please do leave comments on our social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.